Hey guys, Sherry Bertolini with Sherry's Organized Life. Today we are going to tackle paperwork, one of the least favorite things that I ever do, and I know it's a real hard problem for a lot of people. Today we're going to tackle it in a way that helps you create a system the way you think. It's going to be unique to you, it's going to be your customized system, and it will work great because it needs to be the way that you think. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do when you're starting to file is create some categories in your mind. Now there are a couple of approaches you can use. You may be more comfortable with this approach of creating kind of a list before you even get started. For instance, uh, real broad general categories like, um, let's see, I know I have all kinds of papers that deal with my home, um, I have papers that deal with money, uh, papers concerning my family, um, maybe work. These are pretty broad categories, but these are categories that you can use to begin your process. Now, if you're not comfortable with making the list and you just feel better handling the physical papers, then I'll show you a way to do that to come up with your list. Here's a second way that you can approach creating categories for your file system. If you have some empty hanging files ready in a box, no labels yet, this is a great way to start by physically working through your pile and creating categories as you go. First thing I pull off my pile is papers related to work, to a job, okay? So that's work, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a sticky note, I like colors, that's just me, find the end that doesn't have the sticky part on it, and that's the part you write on. So I've created a little category called work. I'm just gonna stick this temporarily on a hanging file and my work papers go in that hanging file. Next thing I grab, paint chips <laughs> that I've been collecting for months because we haven't decided what colors to paint some of our rooms. Now, that deals with home, so I've created another little tab that says home, and that goes there. Every time I find something home related, whether it's a maintenance manual for a new kitchen appliance or something, paint chips, lawn service uh, statements, all of that stuff goes in home. And then I find things like the envelope that has a lock of hair from my middle stepdaughter. That shouldn't have even been in here, but there it is. That goes with family. So I create a family tab and we'll put it up here at the front. And that's where that goes. Now I continue to go through my pile. As general categories begin to take shape, I have temporary labels that go in the files, and you just continue to fill until the paper is gone out of your pile. When that happens, now you can take any category and start breaking it down into file folders that are very specific, like lawn maintenance statements, like home repair statements, like um, all of your manuals for all of the appliances in the house. And all of those file folders can then fit into the category called home. So, and maybe you want to make all of those hanging files one color. Colors are great. Colors are wonderful because they're easily recognizable. I just did these colors just because they make it a little more interesting, a little more fun, because this is not my favorite process. So, do what makes it fun. Do what helps you remember and thinks the way that you actually work. And that is a great beginning for a good file system. Thanks so much. This is Sherry Bertolini with Sherry's Organized Life.